Christian Kirk is one of the most exciting young players in the NFL. The Texas A&M product had a sneakily impressive debut campaign with the Arizona Cardinals and only should improve on it with a new coaching staff and surrounding core of skill position players. Not only does he look to be incredibly productive, but Kirk is also someone who's just super fun to watch. He's an absolute playmaker in the truest sense of the word. Christian Kirk deserves your recognition. Kirk attended Sagar High School in Scottsdale, Arizona. He played both wide receiver and running back for the Sabercats. He gained over 3,000 all-purpose yards as a senior and 2,000 as a junior. Kirk was rated by Rivals.com as a five-star recruit and was ranked among the top overall prospects in his class. He committed to play collegially at Texas A&M University. With the Aggies, Kirk earned a starting job at receiver as a true freshman in 2015. In his first game, he had six receptions for 106 yards with a touchdown and also returned a punt 79 yards for a touchdown. As a freshman in 2015, Kirk played 13 games with 1,009 receiving yards and seven touchdowns. He also had two return touchdowns and one SEC Freshman of the Year. As a sophomore in 2016, Kirk played 13 games with 928 receiving yards and 9 TDs. He also had three return touchdowns. In 2017, in his third and final season, Kirk played in 13 games, catching 71 passes for 919 yards and 10 touchdowns. Kirk was drafted by his hometown team, the Arizona Cardinals, in the second round, 47th overall, of the 2018 NFL Draft. He was the fifth wide receiver to be selected that year. In week three of his inaugural NFL season, he recorded his first big game with seven receptions for 90 yards. In week five against the San Francisco 49ers, he caught a 75-yard touchdown pass to help the Cardinals earn their first win of the season. Overall, he played in 12 games, starting seven, recording 43 receptions for 590 yards and three touchdowns. He suffered a broken foot in week 13 and was placed on injured reserve on December 3rd, 2018. Those numbers may not be spectacular, but it was hard for anyone in the Cardinals offense to get anything going. There's a lot of turmoil that went on with the offense in 2018. First, the team immediately turned to Josh Rosen, another rookie, to lead the offense after a few weeks with Sam Bradford under center. Therefore, the receivers had to adjust to a new guy under center. Then Mike McCoy, who was absolutely terrible at his job, was fired as the offensive coordinator, and Byron Leftwich was named the interim coordinator. This put pressure on the young guys like Kirk to handle interchanging parts rather quickly. Lastly, the offensive line was incapable of protecting Rosen or whoever was under center. The offensive line allowed 52 sacks in 2018, tied for fifth most in the NFL. This made it hard for receivers to get targets as Rosen had less time to serve in the field. But now, things are different. Kirk has first overall pick Kyler Murray at QB and Cliff Kingsbury in his air raid offense. Kirk already has experience playing with Murray when the two were briefly teammates as freshmen at Texas A&M. Kingsbury has also cited Kirk as someone who is ahead of the curve in terms of learning the offense given his college experience. Kingsbury is known to be an offensive mastermind while helping develop guys at Texas Tech where he is the head coach for six years. Specifically, he did a great job of utilizing explosive quick skill players such as Kiki QT and Jakeem Grant. Given Kingsbury's offensive intelligence, it's hard to believe that the Cardinals' offense won't be light years better than they were in 2018. After all, it shouldn't be tough to be better than Arizona's 32-ranked offense from a year ago. This year, the Cardinals are expected to throw the ball more with Kingsbury calling the shots. The legend Larry Fitzgerald still resides in the offense, but Kirk could be the eventual top target for Murray in the offense at some point this season. So who is Kirk as a player? What makes him so good? Kirk is a compact, muscled-up wide receiver. He's built like a running back and plays in the slot as well as outside. He's an exceptional route runner. He understands how to leverage defensive backs, sell double moves, and cleanly enter and exit the break point. He has strong hands and tracks the ball smoothly. He does a lot of work in the middle of the field and doesn't let the heavy traffic affect his concentration. Also, he's dynamic with the ball in his hands. Given his awesome return ability in college, Kirk is someone that can make and extend plays, which is critical for a modern wide receiver. Further, he is a fast weapon who can challenge defenses vertically and take the top off of a defense. Kirk is a quick receiver who creates separation and is a threat to rip off yards and chunks. When cornerbacks and safeties play on their heels, Kirk is a threat to burn them and get open down the field. Christian Kirk is just really, really good and fun to watch. Considering his increased opportunity, the sky is the limit regarding the numbers Kirk can put up. It will be a blast to follow his journey, and I suggest all of you to hop on the bandwagon now before it gets too crowded. Because it will get crowded soon. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on Christian Kirk? Who do you think is the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL? Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RespectThePoint, and leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. That is all for this video, thank you for watching, and goodbye.